everybody, welcome to the Black Sheep Props channel. I'm Steve and I'm here to teach you the tips, tools, techniques, and materials for building your very own super cool EVA foam props. Now in the last build, we went video game and we built the PUBG Vector. And it was cool. Um, if you missed that build, we're going to include the link in the description below to our channel's homepage so you can go over there and check out Vector or any of the other super cool builds we have there. But for this build, we're going to actually stay video game. So without further ado, Black Sheep Props would like to introduce you to the newest member of the family. <laughs> wow, check it out. That's right. It is the Data Knife from Titanfall. Check that out. Um, this thing is super cool. Really fun. A little bit tricky, but not too hard. Um, and let's face it, the real hero of this thing is the body. Man, that body is contoured and shaped and has angles all over the place and, and contours and, and round areas meeting up with flat areas. This thing was a puzzle, but uh, went together great. This thing is so super cool, man. Got the button right there where your thumb is, the trigger up at the front, um, super contoured, just a couple colors. Um, we got a little support happening in the blade there, we'll see too. Um, really, really jamming build. So, in this episode, making an EVA foam data knife. We're going to go step by step through how to make the whole thing, and we're going to seal it, and we're going to paint it. Um, so, that's it, man. Enough of me yapping. If you're ready to hit it, let's make something. All right, we're starting our data knife with the handle here and there's going to be a lot of shaping that's going to have to go on with this thing so we're going to try to pull it off all right so here's a two inch thick 48 millimeter piece All right, there we go. We cut this curve with the scroll saw. We cut the rest with the band saw. Now what we're gonna do is we need these two pieces, okay? So we're going to stick these two pieces back together. Double stick tape. Stick that together. All right, there we go. All right, now we're going to come in with our second cut. All right, there we go. We did our side cut, kept our bottom pieces, attached them to here, so we've got a flat bottom base to send it through the bandsaw. All right, there we go. Look at that. Okay, now we can come in and we can take off our piece. All right, there is the rough shape for our handle. Pretty cool, huh? Did the side cut. Kept our base, stuck it on there, laid it flat, sent it through for our taper cuts, and there you have it. Sweet. Next, we're going to take this 48 millimeter piece, which is two inches, and an 18 millimeter, which is about three quarter, and we're going to stick it together so we can. Okay, there you go. Now you know the drill with contact cement. Coat both sides, let it totally dry, then after it dries, it'll make contact. All right, there we go. Wow, two and three quarter inches. Look at that giant piece of foam. Good grief. All right. Okay, now we're gonna go over and we're gonna try to cut this on the bandsaw. This is a little bit tight, but we'll see if we can do it. All right, there we go. That's not bad. Not terrible. All right. Okay, now we're going to cut this off right on this line we have drawn here. Okay, it's about an inch down from this top peak right there. We're just going to cut that off at the bandsaw. All right, there we go. Cut it off. Now we have... Okay, now we're going to go from here to here. There we go. All right, now we're going to have to do this cut over at the bandsaw. We're going to cut in 
and across. All right, there we go. Now let's see what we got. Get that centered. My gosh, is that cool. Check that out. All right, we're going to shape this from above now, okay? Now we want to come in, make a curve sort of like that on the back. All right, cut right through here like that. But what we're gonna use is we're gonna take this over to the bandsaw and we're gonna use this as our base and we're gonna cut it over on the bandsaw. All right, there we go. We've got a rounded back. Now when we come in and we lay this up here, okay, we've got the top piece that's got that curve on it. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to cut our flat back cut off like we talked about to match up with the end right here, just like that. All right, now we're gonna go in and cut that off. Okay, we cut the end off. Now let's see if that fits on there. Oh, it does, perfect, look at that. Okay, now we're roughing this thing out. Now we're gonna... Okay, what we did is we came in here and we cut these corners just a little bit tighter. All right, so we can bring this in, set it on here. All right, we've got these little square flares. Now we wanna sort of round those off also. Okay, there we go. We drew our corners. We're gonna. All right, it took a little bit of figuring, okay? We did our side cut, did our taper cut, then we knocked an inch off of the top. Then we stacked up our round disc, cut it out, did our cut this way and our cut this way so that it fits right on there like that. Then we rounded our sculpted our back a little bit and cut a little bit of a flat end off okay so the flat end lines right up there at the back like that look at that nice okay now it's shaping time all right now we're going to come in here we're going to get some gloves on we're going to get a dust mask on and we are going to round all this stuff off all right we're going to come in with our super rough bit first and we're going to shape it smooth bit in. All right, there we go. Now, look at that. That is swell. Check that out. Okay, now we drew these two circles here, all right? We used our circle template. Now we're going to use our X-Acto knife and we're gonna stick the knife in and we're gonna spin around and we're gonna cut a groove for both of those circles, all right? So we're gonna come in, stick our knife in, and we're going to follow right around our Sharpie mark, nice and careful like this. There we go. All right. Okay, now we're gonna hit this and we're gonna open up those creases with some heat. All right, that foam tightened up real nice everywhere. Our creases opened up. Okay, we transferred our templates over, right on our handle right there. We adjusted them a little bit so they fit. And now we're going to come in with our X-Acto knife and we're going to do the same thing we just did right here. We're going to make all these cuts real carefully. All right. all right, now we're going to carefully go all the way around our handle. All right, there we go. Now we're gonna heat seal it and we're gonna open up our creases.
All right, there we go. Check that out. Same thing we just did. Look at that. We got those grooves all the way around. And that. Get our corner down really tight right there. And we'll come around to this side. And we'll get the same thing done. Get the corner in real tight. All right, there we go. We've got super tight corners everywhere. All right, look at that thing, man. That is crazy. All right, so what we're gonna do first is we're gonna cut this 18 millimeter piece out on the bandsaw. All right, there we go. Now we've got our little mark drawn on there. So that's gonna be the handle of our piece, just like that. But what we're gonna do first is we're going to wrap this three millimeter piece around it. All right. Right there. All right, so we gotta shorten it by five. So, okay, now we know that this is gonna be the correct length for our wrap. Always do a test wrap. Meet up at your corners real carefully. Beautiful. Just like that. In the middle, just like that. Okay, now we know we're centered and we're attached. Okay, now we're going to roll it just like this. Rolling it helps you not stretch the foam because if you're pulling on the foam you might distort those little windows a little bit and we want them to all be perfect. So We're going to get our, our seam nice and tight on there. Beautiful, look at that, that is spotless. Wow, let me push it down. Pretty nice, now we can get some of this residue off with our Dremel. And we're gonna cut this piece on an angle at the front. Okay, so we're gonna go over to the bandsaw and we're gonna cut that off. All right, there we go, we got a nice cut there at the front. Nice, look at that. We got a nice bevel around the back. We rounded off this front. Hot dog, that's looking good. Wow, so far so good. A lot of shaping. All right, here we go. A couple more details for the sides. We've got two millimeter and 10 millimeter that are gonna go together and an eight millimeter piece here. All right. All right, there we go. Now that's gonna come in and sit right on the top, just like that. But first we're going to cut this piece out on the bandsaw so we can get a nice perpendicular side all the way around the whole thing. All right, there we go. Look at that. Got our little teeth cut out. Now we're going to come in and we're going to get these little frays off of the bottom because when you go through the bandsaw, you get little frayed edges at the very bottom. So we're just going to come in, clean those off. Tightened up, that's pretty sharp. All right, follow this little curved line around, something sort of like that. That's our mark. Now we're going to cut that off, and that way this is going to stick right out of the side. Actually, we could probably do a straight cut. 
like that. And we just wasted most of what we did, but we needed to do that so that this has a perfect look to it. That is nice. Okay, now we're gonna come in with this eight millimeter piece and we're going to knock this out with our X-Acto knife and then we're gonna round the edge off, okay? There we go. At the top, All right, there we go, look at that. Shaped really nicely, it's got the round front, really cool, let's tighten it up. Press it right up against our curved side so that it forms right to the side. All right, now we've got an extra piece of two millimeter foam. We're gonna come in with our little hole puncher. And one, two, three, four. We're gonna make a little puddle. All right. We got two in here on both sides of the button and two up here. That is really nice. All right, a couple simple two millimeter rectangles. There we go. All right, there we go, simple little two millimeter rectangle on both sides, just to give it a little bit of a little piece of dimension on the side. All right, here we go. Now we're gonna do our blade. Okay, we're gonna take two four millimeter pieces. All right, there we go. Now we've got this tiny little metal piece of wire that we're gonna use to give our blade some support. All right. Narrow bit, we're gonna make our trench. Now don't go all the way through the foam. That's pretty nice. All right, now before we attach that, let's come in and slice the end off, just like that. Cut just outside our line, just like that. Perfect. Align our edge up. Okay, now we've got our little wire in there so our blade is stiff and then when we flip it over, boom, there it goes, just like that. All right now if we center it right in the middle, we know we're gonna be safe from hitting our inner support. Fly right through here. All right, there we go. Stiff blade. Perfect. All right, we're going to bevel this edge. We're gonna bevel from this line we drew right to this little seam in the middle, okay? A little bit of a peak started. All right, there we go, check that out. We tapered it to a peak, so it's thick back here, and it's thick here, and it tapers right to the peak. That is really cool. All right, All right, that's a nice blade so far. So we transferred this little inner template over. We're gonna use our X-Acto, we're gonna make a cut. 
on both sides and then we're going to heat it up with the heat gun to open it up so there's a nice little crease in there. All right. All right, now what we're going to do is we are going to do this little piece that goes in the middle here. And that's going to be made up of a two millimeter piece of foam. So we're going to cut these out. Now we'll do the second one. Use super glue because this is a small little piece. And we're going to drop it right down like that. Okay, now we're going to make some little creases in this piece and heat it up also. Okay. Tiny ones in here, two of them in here, and... Okay, now what we're going to do is this. We heated our wood burner up. Now we're going to come in and we're going to make these little notches in the blade. By just... just come in and we're going to make our little grooves like that. Okay, there we go. Look at that. That is nice. Now we're going to come around to this side and we're going to meet right up with those lines we started, just like that. Very cool blade, look at that. All right, now we measured our length and our width of our blade and where our dowel falls, and we transferred those marks over Right here is where the base is going to sit, and this crosshair right in the middle is where the dowel is going to go, so we're going to drill right into there. Okay, we've got a little bit that's just a tiny bit skinnier than our dowel because we want it to be snug, and it's the right length we need. So we're going to come in, and we are going to... All right, here we go. And then we're going to slide our dowel in. We're going to line up where we glued. And there we go. All right, check that blade out. Crazy awesome. Wow, man, that swell. Look at that. Wow. Oh. Okay, here's our last couple details. A couple of little four millimeter rectangles and two little four millimeter pieces here. So. Just like that, all right? But what we're gonna do first is we're going to round off the edges of these just a little bit. Okay, now we're gonna hold it down and it's gonna slightly wrap around the edge there. Nice, there's a slight little curve on it too. Okay, now these pieces, again, we didn't, we don't have a template for this. We used four millimeter. We did the same thing. We did three quarters of an inch long. And then we're just gonna have this end bevel in, bevel in, and then here we're gonna have this little corner and we're gonna cut a little circle out of it. So. brass tube our beveled edges here we've got our corners here and our little circle cut out on four millimeter foam now we're going to bend it around our curved shape right there that is sweet 
All right, now this piece curves around the side and this piece curves around the side. That is really cool. Woo, all right, with that, uh, these last two little details up here that we wrapped around the circular piece, that brings the build portion of our Titanfall data knife build to a close. All right, we're out at the spray stand. We're gonna begin coating our data knife with our Plastidip. All right, there we go. Sealed on Plastidip. Nice, I love this stage. This is where it really gets real looking. All right, look at that, nice. All right, now we're gonna start painting our data knife. All right, we're gonna come in with our silver. And because we're using the sponge brush, we're leaving darkness in the corners and in all the crevices and around the shapes and stuff. Okay, we just want to get a little bit in there, not full coverage. All right. All right, there we go. That's it for the silver. Nothing hard about it. All right, here we are with our red brick. That's actually not the right color. Let's try cardinal red. Now we're gonna do a couple coats. Let it get. All right, there's a second layer of the red. All right, now we're coming in with some medium gray. All right, there we go. We've got our switch right here done, and we've got our two little pieces on the side of the body like that. All right, look at All right, now we're coming in with our raw iron, which is our really dark gray. It's got a little bit of blue in it. All right, now we're coming in with our satin black, and we're just gonna cut in up against all of our pieces. Cut in around our pieces and then fill in that big areas. All right, nice. We just cut in all the way around the whole thing with our black. Look at that, that's looking cool. All right, we're gonna come in with our worn penny. It's a copper penny. All right, we're gonna come in, get a little bit on here. Now what we did was we did a really loose mask here, okay, because we don't want to hit any of our silver blade. All right, now we're gonna come back in with our raw iron. All right, there we go, there's our wrought iron. And it's really covering bad, but we're just gonna let it dry and we're gonna do several coats till it's nice and solid on both sides. All right, we're coming in with our steel gray. It's a really super light gray. That little, now it doesn't matter if we go too far outside. We'll touch that up again with the black. 
We just don't want to get inside, which is why we put our little mask there. Peel our edge up, just like that. All right, there we go. Now we've got a cool little ring around the inside, which is what we wanted. Now we'll let this dry and we'll touch up the black. All right, there it is. We just repaired our black area right there with a brush. Okay, now I'm gonna come in here with this pen and I'm going to make these carbon fiber sort of marks all the way down here. All right, there we go, check it out. We used our permanent black pen to make our carbon fiber lines. Really easy stuff. All right, that pretty much does it. Um, really easy paint job. You saw us sponge on the blade, and then you saw us come in and start brushing. Okay, we brushed on the red, we brushed on the medium gray, made sure we hit all of our little silver points, and then we came in with a brush and we took our time and we cut it and we painted all the black, which was totally easy. Um, did a little bit of light masking here to tap our copper on there, hand painted our wrought iron, wrought iron in the center. We cut a little mask here to do our gray ring and uh, that last detail with the permanent marker making the carbon fiber. So that uh, pretty much does it with that uh, last detail, permanent marker for the carbon fiber. That brings our Titanfall data knife build to a close. Pow, there it was, the whole thing. Shaped, built, sealed, and painted. And you saw it. You saw how intricate it was building this whole top deal on the handle. How we had the big cylinder and we had to cut angles out of it to match up with the angles on the handle. We did some tapering out this way on the sides. We've got all these curves happening. We wood burned in some really cool detail lines on the handle, and then the rest was just attaching little pieces. It was really easy. Um, and you saw us put support in the blade. You saw how we sandwiched two pieces of foam around a little thin little dowel, so we've got some support in the blade. And a really easy paint job. We sponged some on, and then we brushed some more on, and hit a little few little red details and some medium gray details. It was really easy and uh, turned out fantastic. This thing fits in your hand so perfectly. Thumb fits right on the button. Really, really cool. Um, that's it. That concludes making an EVA foam data knife. Hope you liked it. If you did, give us a like, share us with a friend, and subscribe to this channel. And together we're going to go step by step through a lot more super cool builds so that you get the props you deserve. <laughs> Thanks for coming. See you next time.